Welcome back to the channel guys, I'm Gary Martin and today we're joined by Andrew Prosser who's a mid-handicap golfer and plays a slice. Yep. And we've come to test the tailor-made Stealth 2 HD fairway wood against, you've got a fairway wood in your bag, it's yep. not a draw bias is it? No, it's just standard setup. So like this TS2. It'll be quite interesting to see if this can improve your slice, which we did a video a few days ago, which you might have seen, where we compared the your current driver, which is a draw bias driver, against the Stealth 2 HD driver. And we didn't get that much improvement, no. did we? But I think today, if you're using a standard fairway wood and you fade the ball, it's going to be interesting to see if this can improve your slice. But I mean, first things first, looks wise, they're completely different, yeah. aren't they? I mean, we'll put some close-ups into these. Yours is very small and compact, yep. and this one's quite sort of shallow and long and big, isn't it? Massive yep. profile. What's your first impression when you look down at that? Well, I'd say just the, the size of it, that it feels like it would be more forgiving immediately from yeah. striking the ball. I'm actually surprised you're playing that five wood. Yep. Were there any reason why you bought it? I just went, I needed something that's not a driver. It wasn't an iron. Yeah. I tried the three and the five. I just couldn't get the three, so I, that was the club that worked for me at the time. Right, the way we're going to do this, I'm going to hit five balls with your current five wood. We're yep. going to hit five balls with a tailor made. We try and keep these sweet and, you know, obviously, short and sweet, should I say. But you've got to remember, guys, Andrew's a mid to handicapper, so yep. there might be some bad <laughs> shots. You keep asking for handicappers on the channel, but they're going to come at yep. probably having some bad shots. So don't worry about that. It's only normal. And we're going to see what these results, but most importantly, see if it helps you with a the slice. They yep. claim this to be their most forgiving fairway that they've ever made. Right. You know, so it's going to be interesting to see whether it can help. Okay. That's it there, you can see that little bit of fade. That sounded a good strike. That'd be like the one that you got to yeah. green in two, <laughs> wasn't it, on 18? I do like it when I hit it well. A little bit heavy. I must say, you've done really well on camera today. <laughs> There's if, time. If you'd have seen him warming up, guys, you might have questioned his handicap. <laughs> but he's quite good on camera. How many is that? That's five. Five. Right, here it is then. We'll cross over. I think it's slightly short, isn't it? Oops, oh, you don't want to drive it, do you? <laughs> that won't be a fair test. Oh, I better take the tape off it for you. Um, they're actually quite a close cluster of balls, yeah. though. Uh, it's I'd not going to be an easy one to beat, this. I'd be pleased with those. You would. Just have a couple of practice swings with this one. We had a look yeah. at the length, didn't we? Yeah, it's slightly shorter, it's I think. It's slightly shorter. I've done this in the driver as well, and that's to add a little bit more control. I think it really does work this, you know, for mid to handicappers. That little bit shorter shaft, it will give that bit more control. It might come at a sacrifice for a few yards, but we'll see if it's worth it. Sounded nice. I can fade anything. You could, we said this earlier, <laughs> didn't we? Yeah, you can fade anything. Your tailor made oh. worst nightmare. <laughs> That certainly set off a little bit further left, which could be the draw bias taking over. We'll see. So when you get a, a mid to handicapper testing, you know, you're always going to get good results, aren't you? Because it really does test the clubs. There's certainly a change in direction yeah. here. Maybe that first one was just an anomaly. But that starting point does seem a little bit further left. So 
so far. Let's cross the line a little bit. Yep. Having that bigger head then as yeah. a mid tiny capper, what does it look? Does it feel it, like it, you're going to hit it better? It just or? feels like you've got a bit more confidence that you're yeah. going to hit it. Does it sit better on the floor? Yeah, I think, I don't know if the angle's different of the, the club. I yeah. think I'm trying to straighten it out a bit more. Well, what they say is that the plate at the bottom is designed to sit so flush and close to the floor, which will help you set your body up yeah. around the club. So I'm trying to sweep it away. Okay. Yeah. Sounded nice. Is that five? Yes. So still the fade. There's or still slice. some fade there, isn't there? Let's have a look at these results. So in conclusion, guys, you know, there's nothing really, nothing to split it again, really. is there? No. You know, we've had a look at the results. The carry distance is almost exactly the same. Yep. The total distance is almost exactly the same. The only thing we've really noticed, what could be a benefit to you higher handicappers or mid handicappers, if you don't launch the ball very well, I mean, you're all right with that, aren't you? You yeah. hit the ball, you say you hit it quite high, actually. Yeah, but it, it definitely had a higher... It, it spins more. So it, it, its total distance is the same, but it actually launches better off the floor. But as far as direction, you know, the cluster of balls were pretty similar. Yeah. You could say that a couple were a little bit straighter. Yeah, I think the other thing was just the size of the head gave me more confidence that I was going to hit it well. Well, I think, personally, I think if you did a bit more testing outside, you'd probably settle more on that one mm -hmm. based on how it feels and confidence under pressure. Yeah. But actually, in here, we sort of... I always think in here as well, guys, it's not the best circumstances practicing because there's no pressure, there's no yeah. water, there's no bunkers, you know, there's no wind. So you can just get that camera. confidence. It's just, well, <laughs> I suppose there's only a camera, yeah, and a thousand people watching. But... Um, I, I think under pressure, that one would probably be easier yeah. to it, just because it's a bigger head, bigger profile, it sits nice. Yeah. But, you know, if we are going to be honest about the results in here, there's not really much difference, is there? No, nope. save yourself um, some money there. Go well, on. yeah, a good question to ask you then. You know, obviously your fairway would, me looking at it as a pro, yeah. I would be thinking, you know, if you are going to change anything in your bag, I looked at your driver, I didn't think that worth him changing his driver. I'm looking at your fairwood thinking that's not really aimed at your ability. It's not aimed at someone with a slice. That would be the club I'd be looking to change. But with these results, I'm guessing, would that be something you'd no, be bothered about? I'm probably more looking. I haven't got a three wood. So I'd probably yeah. look to add that to my bag rather than change what I've got. Well, I think when you come to test a three wood, this could be a great three wood to test because yeah. a lot of mid to handicap golfers struggle with three because they can't launch the ball. They can't get the ball up in the air. Well, yeah. this is showing that it creates a lot of backspin and it's going to help you launch it. So I reckon in the fact that in the free wood, this could be a dead easy free wood to use. Right. Um, and having that little bit shorter shaft as well, it shouldn't feel too uncomfortable for you. Yeah. You know, when people go into a free wood, it's sometimes quite a long club to be off a fairway. This is going to almost feel like your five wood, but just with a little bit stronger head. Yeah. So I think that's something we could test. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed that video. Um, you know, the real results, we're a mid tiny capper. Yeah. Um, and you know, there weren't that much difference, were there? No. Is it a TSR2? Yes. So yes it's it is. Quite a few years old as well. Yeah, that's what, um, about three years, two, three years old. Yeah, I'm sorry to disappoint if anyone's watching from Taylor May, but we can <laughs> only be honest. And I'm sure, I'm sure with more in-depth fitting, you know, if you went to a fitting day, because I don't want to disparage anybody from having a, no. or trying these, I'm sure with a more in-depth fitting than, a, you know, a, a master fitter could probably find a little bit more performance for you. Yeah. Um, but if we just sort of, taking a club off the shelf and comparing it like for like what, uh, what you've already got, there's not much improvement. Not enough, no. And that's what a lot of you guys will be doing. You know, you, you don't always go for fittings. You'll sometimes pick clubs up off the shelf in your, you'll know what shaft you need, um, you know, and, and you'll kind of get a similar spec to what you've already got. And that's what we've tested today and there haven't yeah. been any improvement. No, not enough anyway. For, not not yeah. enough. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed that one and we'll see you in a few days time. Bye. Bye. I think that is it as well. I see so many people who are 10, 11, they're just constantly changing clubs. And yeah. I think I've got a lot to do myself first and yeah. change me and how I set up and how I hit it and that. Yeah. And because I have, you know, I'm, you know I'm, I'm obviously coming in like that a bit. Yeah. And I, try, I think, right, if I do that and come out a bit more, I'll try yeah. and get rid of it. But then it goes over there. So, and I play too many competitions. I want to, I want to get out and play a few more practice games where I just can try those different things. Yeah.
But um, anyway, no, it's good. No, I mean, that. to be fair, I hope you've learnt a little bit. I yeah. certainly have. Um, well, in the end, I, after the practice, I didn't hit it too badly. But yeah, I say, you know, when does a fade become a slice? So at yeah. the moment, I'm thinking it's it's 90% fade, and then occasionally yeah. it will turn into a massive slice. And then you think, oh. Well, the way a, a slice is defined, if you're still watching, guys, it's when you when it misses right of where you're intending it to finish. Right. So okay. it's okay aiming left to target. If it finishes on target, that's a fade. But if you're aiming left and then it finishes further right than you're intending it to finish, then it's a slice. So Fair enough. it depends if you can judge that or not.